Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we are back with another epic universe update. Yes, big progress this week, as always. And today, we are starting off with this beautiful aerial shot of the park. Um, lots and lots of buildings. And today, we're going to specifically be focusing on the dark universe, the hotel, Starfall Racers, Super Nintendo World, and How to Train Your Dragon. So, let's get right into it. Starting off here with the Dark Universe, wow, this is one of my most um, anticipated lands and it seems like it's one of yours as well as you guys voted in my YouTube poll and Twitter poll um, last week of which uh, are your most anticipated lands and Dark Universe won by like 50%. So a lot of you are, a lot of you are very excited for this land and the theme looks incredible. I mean I'd be excited for it just on that alone. Look at the manor theming has been extended. The, theming is meant basically in all areas the village the manor and we're gonna um go ahead and discuss that in detail in the following photos take a look at this photo here where a mysterious backstage empty lot has been created not sure if there's gonna be a building here or what's gonna i'm pretty sure it's backstage that's not for guest facing but i'm just curious what's going on here because it looks perfectly ready for something to be built on maybe a backstage building or could just be a backstage even parking lot as well. The facade work on the manor has wrapped around the whole building, it looks absolutely incredible. And it's again going to this what you what looks to be an extended queue outdoor or outdoor queue area area and wraps around the other side past the exit to the backstage area as well. And that just looks absolutely gorgeous. The tree facade on the portal is almost done. This is still probably the most Impressive portal, though. How to Train Your Dragons portal is finally starting to get some theming, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But yeah, this is still probably the most highly detailed and themed portal out there. It looks incredible. It's like a photo op in of itself, which is a great. Moving over to the village here, the roof shapes, and the steel forms are uh, the, the steel is forming these cool gothic roof shapes on the village structures. That means. This should be done in the next update. They should be uh, maybe some scaffolding and theming will be starting to pop up on the roofs of the village. But the facade work on the sides of the buildings looks as incredible as the manor. And I mean, yeah, just a whole gothic vibe throughout the entire land, which is great. And lastly, over in the dark universe, the extended queue for the manor courtyard and the manor courtyard is starting to take shape. You see the main entrance, and then you see some kind of Area, some kind of wall starting to form off to the side of that theming is, and yeah, that will likely be the extended queue, and likely will your where your end maybe where you will enter into the main attraction of the Let's scoot over to the hotel part of the project, the Granny Helios Hotel, and facade work continues to rise up, and the building is almost topped out if not already. This hotel again, well, 500 rooms, and a lot of the terracing has started to appear as you saw in the last update really now as they top off the building you can see where those terraces and those fireworks viewing areas will be for hotel residents and probably probably park guests as well if you want to know more info about that i'll link the theme park talk with alicia stella she knows all about that and i we did, she came on the channel and did a wonderful wonderful job talking about it i'll link that in the top right corner but yeah the uh, facade hotel is Facade is climbing up the whole hotel. Looks absolutely great. And here in this photo, this is a more a horizontal lateral photo. See, the grand entrance of the hotel is pretty defined now from the theme park, which, uh, and it looks pretty massive, which is incredible. Okay, I move it over to how to train your dragon. Here's a beautiful aerial image, and you see plenty more rock work work, work has been installed across the entire land, but particularly around the play area. I mean, a lot of it was there already, but it's a little bit more detailed this week. Than we um, have seen in previous weeks, and there's of course acts as a show scene and kind of firm for the coaster that play area does. That in the rock, the rock work acts as kind of again a berm between the play area and the roller coaster, and acts as another show scene for the roller coaster. And this area will have a lot of kinetic energy, kind of like a early Disneyland Tomorrowland vibe with all this the people mover and the rock rods, all these uh, so, uh, Astro Orbiter. All that kinetic energy, this is what How to Train a Dragon or the Isle of Burke is going to be like with all these flat rides and the, get the splash pedal ride and the coaster going by the play area and weaving in, in and out of the land. 
This area will have tons of kinetic energy and a few animatronics as well, three to be exact. And one will be in this particular area, which will be as well between this particular area, which will be pretty awesome. The entrance portal, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, is starting to take shape. It looks like a lighthouse type structure is being installed on the top with plenty more footers for something else. So I'm excited to see what will be going up there. Maybe some more Viking houses, um, and maybe some, even some, probably a collection of dragons will be greeting you at the portal, at the portal as well. The rockwork has started to uh, spring up on the Great Hall, but permits or trademarks have this as a Mead Hall, the name for this restaurant, but rockwork has started to pop up on the sides and main structure, as well as a steel structure up above, uh, like a kind of an entrance statement. I wonder what that entrance statement will be and what that will look like, but that should start to take shape over the next few weeks. Here's another look at the entrance portal. With that uh, better look at that lighthouse type structure on top and yeah all those footers for something else so i'm excited to see how this land develops over the and the portal develops over the next few weeks coming over to mario town aka super nintendo world the general area of land looks fantastic as you can see right over here um yeah just a lot a lot of work happening a lot of concrete popping up a lot of little theming elements popping up as well Let's take a look at the entrance portal. That one's just about the same as we saw before. It's a wedding. It's warp pipe installation, and right next to it is the room with Nintendo Store, and which will act as a nice uh, main gift shop for uh, Super Nintendo World. Uh, that will have just general Nintendo merchandise, not just Mario merchandise. So that'd be pretty awesome. More painting and concrete work is happening on the hillsides, as well as Mount Beanpole, and especially the Yoshi Bridge. So that'd be cool to see those paints that are done in the next few weeks. Donkey Kong Country looks about the same as the last update, but we have some more scaffolding on those that steel structure there will be will eventually be the massive temple facade in Japan. They just got their temple facade topped off with this cool monkey, um, cool, cool Donkey Kong looking statue. So can't wait to see that installed over here in the coming weeks and months. Lastly, over here, moving over to Starfall Racers, you can see this can station can be is fully covered, and even the grand entrance frame is up, so that mark it, marks a beautiful grand entrance to the attraction from the ground floor. And scaffolding is going up on the theme centerpiece of the attraction, which will probably be some kind of celestial elements. It's a space-themed coaster, right? So maybe a big planet or a big solar system. Looks like it'd be like a galaxy or something, so that'd be really cool to see how that ramps up. Some people online are like, why is this more themed? Well, it's not, you can't really make it more themed. It's not really that practical because you'll be going like 70 something miles per hour, so you won't even get to see the theming if the other side was themed. That's why the, all the theming for this coaster is going on in the station and this big centerpiece. But Super Nintendo World, I mean, Super Nintendo World, Dragon, and Monsters will have pretty decently themed coasters, so it's not like you know, Epic Universe will have, uh, you know, no themed coasters at all. This will just not be a really themed coaster, but it looks fantastic, and this is really for all about speed and height and, and all the crazy elements that is on, that are on this mock roller coaster here. That is the Epic Universe construction update for this week. If you want to see some early access, this video particularly was on early access on my Patreon. That's Patreon com slash club 722 link is down below but i also put permit filings and other cool stuff exclusive content on there as well as other early access videos so check that out as well if you do not wish to go on patreon you can subscribe to the youtube channel right here theme park wizard and share subscribe and like it i hope you liked this video if you did press that thumbs up button and have an epic day everybody